Welcome back to my channel everyone. Today I'm sharing another crock pot recipe that is super easy and really quick to put together. It is a crock pot barbecue pineapple chicken. Let me run you through the ingredients that you need for this. So of course you need chicken. I'm using four chicken breasts. Your favorite barbecue sauce, ours is Sweet Baby Ray's, the honey barbecue. Garlic powder. A fresh pineapple is excellent with this, but you can also use canned. Bacon pieces, a cheese blend, and then salt and pepper. And that is it. And we're gonna put this in our crock pot and watch it come together. So first, we're gonna go ahead and defrost our chicken. And I wanted to take a minute and show you that Sweet Baby Ray's is my family's favorite, but if you are looking for a sugar-free or lower calorie option, any of the barbecue sauces from G. Hughes are absolutely amazing. We've tried three different flavors, and as you can see, this one is only 10 calories for two tablespoons, so super delicious. So to get started, I am just chopping up my pineapple. And you can definitely do this with canned pineapple, but pineapple has been so good lately. This is our second or third one in the past couple weeks, and my kids have been loving it. So this is how I cut a pineapple. I don't have any of those fancy pineapple cutters that cut out the core and cut out the little perfect circles. I just kind of trim off the sides, um, make sure all those little eyes get cut off, and I cut out the core, and then I cut it into whatever size pieces I need. So for this particular recipe, I wanted the slices to be pretty thin, so I would say I cut them about a quarter of an inch, and it caramelizes on top of the chicken in the crock pot. It is so good. So once your chicken is defrosted, um, you can throw it in. On this day, I was only using four chicken breasts because I did not want leftovers. We were going out of town. so. I'm only using four, it did not make very much, so definitely use more if you have a crowd to feed. I just sprinkle it with garlic powder, and then I'm going to add some kosher salt. And also some black pepper. I like to make sure to season uh, my chicken when it goes in the crock pot. And you can also sear your chicken beforehand, um, but I would cook it a lot less if you choose to do that. And then we're just going to take our barbecue sauce and put about a tablespoon or so, it doesn't really matter, onto each. You just want it to cover the chicken. And I just take the back of a spoon, you can use a little brush, whatever tool you have on hand, and kind of spread it around just a little. And then the last step is to add the pineapple. So I like to put it on top and as it cooks, like I said, it caramelizes and the juices kind of cook into the chicken. It adds such a great flavor. And I put the cover on and we cooked this on low for five hours. This smells so good when it is finished cooking and you can serve it just like this with a little extra barbecue sauce. But if you want to add a little bit of extra, you can sprinkle on the bacon and the cheese. You can do this on the plate or you can do it in the crock pot. I 
almost forgot this night, um, but we just added a little bit of both um, as soon as we served it up and it melted all on its own. On this night, I just served this with mashed potatoes and some sauteed zucchini and squash, and this was dinner. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you are new here, I would love for you to join my YouTube community here by hitting that red subscribe button. We'll see you in the next one.